When it comes to camper vans and Class B motor homes, there's a wide variety of prices to choose from. And in this video, we are going to show you examples of one of the least expensive versus the most expensive. We're in Glendale, Arizona at the University of Phoenix Stadium attending the Super B RV show where more than 130 small, mostly Class B motorhomes are on display. And here is the least expensive, a 2018 Corrado Banff on the Ram Promaster chassis. Normally $83,000 on sale at this show for $59,998. Now this is a special price, you may not find it for that near you, but that's what it was going for here in Arizona. This is a gasoline engine and you can expect 17 to 18 miles a gallon. Inside, front swivel seating is only for the driver and passenger. There's a small galley behind the driver with a fridge, microwave, sink, and two burner propane cooktop. The back of the van has two long sofa type benches along both sides. Up above, on both sides, are latching cabinets for lots of storage. And right inside the center door, there's even more. I've got some storage here. It goes all the way back under the bed. You can access it from uh, the front of the unit. The bathroom is at the rear of the bath. You can pull the blind down for privacy. You can pull the sink down. You need to use the sink. Pull this over. You've got your sink done with the sink. You put that back up storage back here. Big storage area. This is a wardrobe. You can hang things in there. Or you can put a couple shelves, put things in there. We've got drawer one, two, three drawers. Pull the other blind down. Pull both blinds down. Got a shower curtain. We can unhook that. Pull that around and you have a shower. Or when you want to use the commode, pull open privacy see that little slot in the floor up there that is for a front table and it's uh, stored behind the seats but look back here in this uh, center corridor there's room for two tables right there uh, and you just put uh, put a slot in there and then uh, you'll find there are the two slots right there mounted right there uh, the tables are stored right in the back of the rear doors very handy to get to and if you're wondering what this device is right here this is how you get the awning up and down it's a crank so opening the rear of the Banff uh, here's the bath area that Jennifer said you can see this molded area for the shower uh, but look at this channel, this open channel right down the middle. You could put a kayak or a couple of uh, bicycles. All right, and I can see that we have two twin beds, but let's see about making this into a king size bed. So we'll remove these cushions. Notice how thick these cushions are. Kind of got cushion envy there. It looks pretty comfy. Let me get this one out of here. And let's see what we've got. Aha. Here it is. Here is the filler piece that you would put in here to make this into a larger bed. And we'll lay that in there. And then put the cushions back down on it. All right. This is very near a king size bed. And it's very comfy. On the roof of the Banff are two small solar panels providing 200 watts of power. And here's the control panel. Everything is run right through the wall here. You can see you've got your water heater, your awning light. Uh, it gives you a readout of your uh, battery voltage right here. And uh, it's pretty darn nice. The inverter, the water pump, this is uh, the Banff. And this is the most expensive Class B we found at the show, a Road Trek CS Adventurous XL on the Mercedes Sprinter 3500 chassis. It's just under 24 feet long and seats six. 
as equipped, it lists for a little over $173,000, but it has a sale price here of $147,323. This has a diesel engine. You can get 18 to 20 miles per gallon. There's two seats in the front. This seat will swivel around so they can face the back. And we have that third passenger seat. Let's start with the galley of the CS Adventurous XL. I want to show you this first. This is an induction cooktop. It's like you'd find in a high-end kitchen in a home. Uh, it's all electric. That means no propane. Uh, and this cooks very evenly, very fast, uh, nice controls with that. Over here uh, atop the sink is a cutting board that you can use. And then when you uh, lift it up, you've got uh, your, your faucets, your hot water, your cold water. And speaking of hot and cold water, I want to show you this. Uh, this is a nice little extra. It is filtered water, uh, filtered cold water, uh, and then filtered hot water. We love the hot water feature for making a cup of hot chocolate or a cup of tea. Really nice. Uh, over here, a huge refrigerator. This is a seven cubic foot refrigerator. Uh, you can go a week easily. Lots of room for your vegetables and your refrigerator stuff. And up here is a large freezer. So you can prepare a lot of meals ahead of time at home and uh, Put them in a, you know, in a, in a plastic bag and bring them in, and, and uh, you really, you really can stock that freezer with a lot of stuff. Up top, we have a microwave and a convection oven. The part that amazes everybody is the bathroom. So here it is, the bathroom and the CS Adventurous. Open up the doors. We have the commode. We have the curtain and the track so that you can take a shower. Here's the shower head ready to go the sink we have a light we have a mirror we have a heater we have a drawer towel rack and when you're in here if you look at the little triangle here you have some elbow room you shut the door use the latch and you have your space here's the seating area it's set up like a sofa in the back and then to make it a bed it's very easy you just use this little switch and this will then pull that together like so and in this spot here again you have a, a board that goes across you put those cushions in it and here you have pretty much a full-size uh, king bed as well and this um, this switch this this power switch is, is just a really nice feature just puts that right back up there's room of course here for a table you would put a table right up in here if you wanted. And look at the storage. Lots of storage overhead. Uh, you can see each of these are fairly deep. That is all the way in. Lots of room for bedding and whatever else. Uh, for clothing. Lots of storage room. And look at the storage for a cupboard. You have lots and lots of room here for um, all the groceries and supplies that you want to take, uh, even more up here. That is really handy. Again, more storage up there. Handy latches, they latch, keeps it very tight. In here is, the, um, is some more storage, but that's the solar controller. You have on this unit 470 watts of solar panels up on the roof. And of course, uh, controlling this whole thing are lithium ion batteries. You've got 400 watts of lithium batteries all on the Ecotrek system. And what that means is that if the batteries are low, the engine will start and the engine generator uh, will then charge those house batteries. So you can be sure that you're always gonna have enough power to run your air conditioning, your microwave. Real handy feature. All that technology means you can camp off the grid for extended periods of time and not have to worry about running out of power. You're energy independent. I would like to add, there's another table that can go right here. Swing these chairs around and you have a seating area up front. Here's the control center. This uh, always tells you how much uh, battery power that you have. There's your water pump and um, most of your main controls. You can uh, monitor how much uh, 
uh, your tanks are filled uh, with these little switches right here. Uh, very handy and it's right as you're going outside the door so it's not in the way of anything but all you gotta do is stand up and look and you're, you have access to your power system. This one has a power awning, you don't have to crank it, you just push a button and it goes out all by itself. So what's the biggest difference between the 59,998 Corrado Banff and the 147,000 CS Adventurous XL? Size and luxury. The Banff seats two, the CS seats six. The Banff is 19 and a half feet long. The CS Adventurous XL is almost 24 feet long. The Banff has a wheelbase of 159 inches. The CS is 170 inches. The Banff has a 3.1 cubic foot refrigerator. The CS's refrigerator is 7 cubic feet. And solar. The Banff has 200 watts of solar. The CS Adventurous XL has 470 watts. Again, the prices that we've shown you are unique to this show. And this show only. But in general, you'll find that kind of a spread in the pricing between the least expensive and the most expensive. Good luck shopping. We're Mike and Jennifer Wendland. Before you go, please do us a big favor and subscribe to our RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. Thanks for watching.